Hi, it's Joe McKeating here, and today I'm going to be going over the Unity Forma tool, which is a tool that came out from Unity Technologies at the end of 2020 for product marketers and clearly is helping pave the way for the future of product marketing. Today we'll be looking at an Aviera car and everything that you can do in the WebGL platform that works with the Unity Forma tool to look at products uh, in, a, in a web browser, on a mobile device, um, or on really any other device that you can think of, works really well on all of those different platforms and devices. Before we get into this actual uh, video, I'd like to say a little bit about Unity Technologies. I got into Unity Technologies because of the impact that they have in virtual reality. As um, many of you know, especially people who I talk to on a regular basis, uh, that's where I've been spending a lot of my free time recently is in virtual environments and thinking about what that means for the future of business, engineering, manufacturing, healthcare, and Unity Technologies is really one of the companies fueling that growth. Uh, Unity has a real-time 3D engine that along with the Unreal Engine from Epic Games actually powers uh, the majority of virtual reality experiences right now. Uh, Unity Technology, reading from their about page on their website here, uh, they account for 5 billion downloads per month of apps built on the Unity platform. 71% of the top 1,000 mobile games in the world are made with Unity. 50% of games across mobile, PC, and consoles were made with Unity and they have 2.5 billion active monthly users who consume content created using one of Unity's solutions. So this is one of Unity's newer solutions called uh, the Unity Forma tool, which as I mentioned, uh, is really gonna help uh, transform product marketing. One of the things, especially when you're in high-end goods, luxury vehicles uh, is a great example uh, having all of those multiple pipelines, we have to be creating different campaigns across uh, mobile, mobile uh, desktop, mobile app, everything else. Um, this, this is kind of a one, one size fits all solution, which usually I don't like one size fits all, but in this instance, it really works out. So um, after building this vehicle, now that you're in a 3D environment, imagine that you're a customer looking at this and I'm going to show you some of the things that you could do and I'm gonna customize this vehicle in the way that I would want it customized. So I'm gonna go ahead here and change the body color. See all the different options. I'm gonna land on green and I would like to change the interior color to red. I'll show you a couple of other options before we get there. I've already played with this earlier, so this is what I would want it to look like. We can change the seatbelt color, and maybe we'll scroll over top of it as I change that to show you all of the different angles that you can see this from. We have the white, red on red, or should we go with white? Maybe we'll go with white. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then let's go back down here and we can scroll in or out easily. So let's get down to the tires here and change this. I think we'll go with red there as well. So now that we have uh, the vehicle designed in the way that we would like, I'll zoom out a little bit and we'll touch some of the uh, touch points that you can use in this product. Now let's go over here, maybe a little bit above, and look at the doors. Now we can leave the doors open and scroll around the vehicle. Look at that steering wheel, beautiful. Let's scroll back out, close the doors. Let's go to the back of the vehicle. And you can imagine this as I'm going through it. Obviously we're looking at a a mock-up of a luxury vehicle here, but you can imagine this for a variety of products. And where we'd like to get 
to in the in the actual virtual reality environments once haptics get advanced enough um, we'd like to get to a point in virtual reality where you can be in this virtual warehouse kind of like in gravity sketch if you watched the video i did on that where you could be in the virtual environment and have the haptics to a point where the touch and feel are very realistic and you could walk right up to the car, open the car door, sit in it, even drive it around and get a lot of the same uh, sensory uh, aspects that, that right now uh, just are not advanced enough. Even in the, you know, I use the Oculus Quest 2, for example, uh, you know, even the hand tracking on that is not the greatest yet. It is really impressive what they've done, but I think we're still many years out from having the haptics to a point where um, you know, design teams would never even really have to be in the same place. We could essentially be um, handling the same product and, and dealing with it in a way as if we're in a real environment, um, as long as we get the, the, the haptics, like I said, the touch and feel and everything like that. So you can see where the car would charge here. And that's about it for this demonstration. Um, I think... Uh, again, luxury vehicle, say your Pepsi or Coca-Cola, you could totally imagine doing this with uh, a new two liter bottle that you're putting out where a team could meet in an environment like this, especially in more of a virtual reality environment in a, in a warehouse space, say, and um, change the colors, change the labeling, um, change, change everything about the bottle. And so there would really be no geographic boundaries to... Um, who is who's looking at a product, who's designing a product, who's giving feedback on a product uh, and where they are. So that's kind of all I have for today. I just wanted to um, show you kind of my first experience uh, today uh, in this Unity Forma tool, which uh, Unity actually just announced this uh, integration with the WebGL platform that allows it to render in very high definition in a web browser or on mobile. So here's my vehicle. Um, hopefully one day I will have that uh, in my garage and uh, looks, looks pretty fast. I wish I could go actually drive it right now. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.